Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, A to Z series which we're playing as MODOK. We expanded a lot last time, I guess I technically did play a lot of it off screen last time. Um, but we're now at war with the Protectron Security Hub because I don't like having an entire nation completely surrounded by us not be part of us. After that we might go to war with the Badlands, NCR has done very very well against the uh, Legion, we might not go to war with them, we'll see. I mean, and I do want their territory, we might, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, it just depends. So I think we'll be fine against these guys. Badland Buckaroos, just because we want more territory. I may... Yeah, we'll see what happens with NCR. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Auto-saving. Martel Reformers, maybe. The Great Confederation, huh? Maybe we'll take those guys out, too. We'll see. I mean, just because we have a tiny land border with them, with NCR. And, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hmm. Uh, are we justifying trying to get more political power at all? No, we're not. Good. Uh, maybe you will... I don't want to take out the Sky Reavers. Which, they're not a part of this, which is good. Maybe we'll take out the Tar Walkers. That would give us another trade node, even though we don't really need it. 225 days is quite a few days. We're not doing anything here. We're increasing, we'll increase the size of our military with our enforcers. We're making enforcers now. No longer enforcers one, but enforcers two. Um, so that should give us a little more staying power. Go to war with these guys, take them out, and maybe we'll go to war with uh, NCR, hmm, probably. Well, I guess I didn't realize, but we were already clearing or just fine on the Badland Buckaroos, so here we're at. Um, should be alright. Like I said, not too worried about this one either. A little slightly laggy, but it's not too bad overall. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Just taking them out pretty easily. And we got all that done. I guess special forces would be next, I suppose. Uh, production policies, contact loss, not good. Electronics concern, that's alright. We don't really need that one, but I guess we'll see. Family expedition, pretty normal. Lots of money. Um, you know what? We can do a new citizens care package too, why not? Exploratory balls, cool. Now we have no extra spare planes, unfortunately. Ooh. Ooh. I guess we have one thing of spare planes right now. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, uh, the NCR just decided to annex everything. Well, it makes it easy for them. I guess they are fighting these guys too, though. Huh. Which wouldn't be a bad idea to go to war with them now. Especially if they had to fight down in Mexico. Oh, hello. They're fighting the Vice Royalty, Edgerson of Mexicano, Eureka. Interesting. Edgerson of Mexicano is. What are people already fighting? Just the NCR? Yeah. Of course, they have robots, and robots aren't super great in the end game, but. You never know. The rocket launchers are nice. Navigation devices, anything else? Well, that's time to go on. Oh, that's not good. No caliber ammo for now. Okay. NCR is extremely strong. Of course, they're fighting these, the Sinaloa Cartel as well, so... Mm. Eureka's holding out, though. Yeah, we're looking nice and thick. The way God intended. Or at least the mayor intended. And now we're at war with them, too. And uh, we're not doing so great on the defense, offense, a little bit. We, we you know, looks all right so far. Not great, not bad. We're making a few more divisions here and there. Once we really get our, you know, planes in here, we'll start doing some mega damage to them. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Or well, not too bad, not too bad. How many divisions do they have? We lost 300 versus 3,000. Not bad. They have up to 116 divisions. Wow, that's a lot of divisions. But not bad still overall. Um, yeah. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Are we missing anything? Infantry armor is looking... We have 17. We're actually positive, finally. Uh, would you like to go and do stuff? Yes. You are the new group we have here. And I guess we do have... Uh, he's a fat man. There you go. I think we're pretty much done with this stuff here. Advanced ballistics? Sure. Sounds good to me. Well, I still like to send a technological excellence as well. Um, we could use a little more war support, though. Anything else? No. Explosive shells are nice. Land for construction speed. We'll do it anyways, because we're here. Nice. Maintenance companies, we don't really need that. Oh, yeah, NCR, sure. 
Yeah. Why not? Hey, nine more divisions, good. Because my god, we're gonna need these guys. Uh, where are you all? Hello? Are you all good? I need y'all to like do your job down here, please. If you really want to, half you guys can be up here as well and beat them up, but still. I guess a lot of these guys are still infantry, they're not actually armored people. Um Lord's Anointed maybe? Oh heaven's gate. So black thing's good. Uh Midnight Union, huh? You know, we might actually go to war with them. I don't want to fight any group that's too close to the NCR, really. Oopsie. Keep going with the stuff. It's important. 18 divisions, holy cow. That is a lot of divisions. Holy crap, this is a giant mess. I told these guys to go out and beat them all up, and they obviously did not listen. I need y'all to win the war, like, now. Because you just got yourself in circle. Wow, this is really dumb. I might have to go off screen and clean this up for us a little bit. Because this is looking a bit too dumb for us. And now we're at war with the Sorrows, in which, uh... Well, we're doing alright, seems like. Um, what do we got? Repeating mechanisms? Very cool. Close out of that one. HMGs, thank you. And a common weaponry. Advanced weaponry, very nice. Come up here, do that, and we are doing oh, their air doctrine. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. And we're actually pushing in. Let's see uh, here. They all died. They lost 12,000. Pretty good. Losing 9,031 divisions left. And we have gone to war with the Midnight Union. Because we need more time. Build ourselves up. We have quartered a little bit more territory, as you can see, over here in southern Nevada. And uh, yeah, it'll go very nicely so far. So, so far, very nicely. Sure. Stormtroopers. We love stormtroopers. Anything else? No, not too much. It's just, it's a, it's a beating. You basically just have to beat them. Oh, we got them. Nice. We must become a regional power to take on a great power like uh, the NCR, because at this point they're pretty huge. Um, please don't let leave this open. Please, it's a bad idea. So they lost about 3,000 so far. I don't know how much manpower they actually have. Not very much. The Ruminators, I assume, don't have a ton. They have a little bit. It's not bad. Oh, and they're still attacking us. I think they'll stop attacking us once they realize how many soldiers we have on the border with them, too. Which is good. And also, we are sending to Technological Excellency, which is fantastic as well. In a few weeks, months, we'll have it done. Oh, they are still attacking. This is something I wasn't really ready for. Interesting. Uh, where are we at with this? Power armor. Infantry armor. Oh, inf infantry armor is looking mighty fine. Good. guys over here. You usually don't want to do this during a war, but whatever. It is what it is. It may just bait the enemy to attacking us even harder, maybe. Alright, so how much armor are we out? Oh, we still have a positive amount, which is great, great, great. Of course, any military factories we make, uh, it's basically going to go straight to making more infantry armor. Awesome. Do it, second land auction. Oh, yeah. Nice bench warfare. Forgot about that. Oh! Um, I have a feeling these guys are going to lose, definitely. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Good, good. Yeah, the NCR's probably going to win. They're already pushing in pretty hard, so. Go ahead, it's fine. Storm. Plus losses are also very good. Mental pumps, very nice. Oh, I was going to attack, but... Alright, well, let's see. Alright, let's go in. 
air damage wise, we should be pretty good. Only doing a hundred ish, roughly. The ruminators are forcing the defense, which makes sense. But still, I don't think they're really going to survive here. There you go. Let's look at the damage. 13,000, not bad. Not bad. Could be better. Oh, yeah. This is pretty nice. Are they both majors? Ah, oh, they both are. That's unfortunate. Metascom just got really huge. Pleasant uh, uh, Pleasantdale? Pleasant Electric's looking big. You know, the machine. Northern Light Republic? Interesting. Just keep going on in. And when you're done, just keep building up some more roads. That'd be great. And do that too. So we're split off here, and we have some more soldiers going up north. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Um, I thought there was a waterway through here, or passage. Maybe I'm wrong. Sure, NCR, sure. Yeah, they're running out of divisions, I think, now. Nothing they can really do to stop us. Of course, they really nothing in the beginning to stop us, but, you know, whatever. Good, good. Lightweight metals are nice. Grenade rifles, good. I know when we go to war with the NCR, we're probably going to lose all air superiority. Most likely. Ah, oh, good. Capitulated already. Very nice. Triage, very important. All the way across, please. Thank you. Basic aquifer, sure, why not? Happy February, everybody. Or New Vegas as well, eh? Didn't think I'd end up going this far uh, east. Unit training, yeah. Ah, this is where it was here. So they have here, and then they get a slip through here. Ah, I see. Good. Casper's ours, and we're gonna start slowly working on our next land option, which will help us out against the NCR because we're gonna need a lot of work on that one. Good. Oh, yeah, we found. We went through the mountain pass, and we showed up. Surprise. Um, yeah, we're fine there. No other settlement law. We wouldn't mind going here, but I still, which it would be beneficial. Cause, but at this point, we already hired everybody that we needed. Um, Go ahead. Very nice. I wonder how much damage we would take if we try to just find these guys. Um, is there any sort of waterway where we connect to them? Because I don't want to go to war if there's an easy way for them to come and try to kill us. We have turned out to be gigantic. For example, let's see, you guys. You know what? No more infantry. Because they have the full army here. What if we did like that? Do it like this. We start justifying on them. gone, kind of expected that. You guys show up here. You guys do this. Grenade rifles. 
very nice. Just help us get us all ready to go for this war. And uh, support equipment. We're actually out of support equipment. Interesting. And we're going to get a crap ton of planes. Rosebud. At this point, I am not too concerned about uh, money. Good. Happy May. Good. Air Doctrine. The state of New Vegas. Interesting. Grain mm. solicitations, why not? Because really, these enforcers, they're pretty good. They got recon, fire, uh, you know, fire bases, cams, anti-tank, demo teams. Basically, anything you would really need to do well. Now, I just want to see how we would do if we went to war. So, we're going to do this. It's kind of insane. They might have so much air power that they can actually beat us up. Oh, we no longer have the government idea. Uh, Wars of New Worlds. Oh, we've achieved technological excellence. We are some of the smartest people in the entire wasteland, but you can't win wars with only knowledge. When violence is necessary, you can use that knowledge to use it as a precise instrument. We can create wondrous weapons for our regular troops, fast armored vehicles to pre war standards, advanced autonomous killing machines, or power armor and special forces gear to transform any human being into a killing machine. But even our resources aren't limitless, so let's pick a new field to specialize in. How will we master the battlefield? Oh. I love this one, Spe sophisticated special forces, but really the best bang for our buck is absolutely air supremacy right now. Um, just because we only have six special forces divisions, and uh, it's not that many. And we can really get a lot more going with and do more if we can outproduce and outmaneuver them here. So now we're at war with them. Let's we'll see what happens. They've lost 228, which isn't very much. We've lost 13, which isn't bad. Uh, what if we threw everybody on the line and started fighting? And they only have a few divisions here, so... Air-wise, I'm sure it's not green air. Oh, oh my god, they have those jets? Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is not going to be easy, then. So they're already using, like, these types of jets. Holy crap. That's kind of insane. We'll see, and we don't have a lot of manpower either, so we got to watch out for that too. So we keep pushing out a little bit. We'll see. We need those supply up here too. Hey, we made an encirclement already. Nice. Good. Let's see what we can do. Because they've got so many resources, it's not good. We need more output. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, with the air superiority, I think we might wait to continue attacking. Um, come over here too. We can use better advanced weaponry too. We have enough divisions and whatnot, but just for security sakes, this is not bad. It's just we're going to, we're going to lose a war. I can see maybe, probably not, if we don't do anything about our air issue. So we really need those planes now, because division for division, it seems like we're doing better than they they are. We just need more. Uh, first of all, we need a base here. Supply points. Um, because we have too many divisions here. Better planes, so I think we'll do that and try to get more planes. Well, everyone, we're doing quite well, actually. We've taken out a good chunk of California. And it helps that Texas actually went to war with them, too. But at this point, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of done with these guys. This war is just dragging on and on, and we got encircled and whatnot. It just, 
There's not a lot of fun taking out California. At the end game, they're just way too overpowered. But it makes sense, because they took out everybody else. But I think I'm out of there. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.